Hi guys! So, I was just sitting here eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then I remember that it's Thursday. And then I remember that it's Tuesday, because it is not Thursday. And it's time to make a video. I think this is week four of consistent weekly videos, and I'm pretty proud of myself, so... According to my roommate's calendar, use my calendar, is not ready for this year yet. Today is November 5th, and that has something to do with V for Vendetta. I've not seen it yet, but I put it on my list of movies. I always look back and continue talking when I'm trying to grab something. Oh, I'm popular. I like movies. They are probably my biggest hobby. You can call movies a hobby. Just movies, not going to the movies, movies. I have two lists on my computer. Let me show them to you. So my two lists are good films, which are not necessarily good films, they're actually more a list of films I have seen and films to watch. But see, the issue is, when I tell people I have a list of movies I want to watch, they always think that I want to watch good movies, which is not necessarily true. So let me get some examples of movies that probably aren't going to be good, and yet somehow still made it onto my films to watch list. Fairly Odd Parents live action movie. Don't know what it was called, but I know that Drake from Drake and Josh is in it, and for some reason, that made it onto my list. Because, you know, sometimes you just want to watch a bad movie. Johnny Depp Vampire Movie. Don't think I had any high expectations for that, but it's on there. Another note is oftentimes I don't know these movies because I will come across them and I'll put them on my list and then forget immediately after what they are actually about. Harvey, Young Adult, Nothing Left to Fear. We're gonna, you know, put that to the side. But I will say that I like most movies if they're good and i know that sounds really well, just obviously you like good movies but i don't have a specific genre that i really like i guess i enjoy horror movies but recently i haven't been able to find any good ones over the summer i saw your next and the conjuring and those were both decent they weren't oh my god this is the best movie ever but they were clever enough that i enjoyed them despite the fact that they didn't actually scare me the reason i started these lists is because people would ask me oh what's your favorite movie and what's your favorite book and tv show so top three movies lord of the rings the two towers 300 zombieland the reason that they're my favorites are because i could probably watch them endlessly and not get sick of them Mulan is also on that list, but I can only pick three, and sorry Mulan, you got butted out. I really like discussing movies with people, actually, so if you tell me what your favorite movie is, I may put it on my list. I'm always looking for new movies to watch. There are certain movies that I have to be in the mood for, so sometimes when I want to sit down and watch a movie, I don't really want to see comedy, or I don't want to see, you know, a shoot 'em up movie. <laughs> so that's why my list is always long, because sometimes I sit down with the intention of watching a movie, and then I just, I never get around to it because I'm not in the mood at the time. Maybe I'll do a weekly movie recommendation, if you guys want to know what movies I'm watching. I would hopefully like to make my scene list significantly longer than my 2C list. So, if you guys are interested in knowing about the movies I'm watching, then maybe I will watch more movies so I can actually give you something to think about during my videos. So I think that's it, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!